Well, well, well. On a previous video, I showed how to create a sample data via TSQL. And uh, when I opened the data in Power BI, I've noticed this. And uh, as you can see, this, this is not a random result. We have a 8,000 rows. But if you, no matter how big the sample is, we will always have this bias. So let, yeah, let's shorten it a bit. And that's interesting. Let me four hundred rows, nine, nineteen hundred. Let's see how many rows it will we will get. Oh, forty thousand rows. Uh, yes, I will. This will bring us a very interesting function. We investigate it further, but not for this video. So yes, there we have a bias here using the rand function. So I don't know why, but uh, then I just tested a little bit more, and by taking out the country name and updating it after the table creation, we can easily fix it. Let me just... Uh, the calculations are all the same. Just this part is being done on a update. Nonetheless, this is a very, very interesting case. Yes, let's see. There you go. So once again, just I just removed, well, it's not exactly the same operation, but I just removed the, let's say, the naming steps from the cre it is not a creation step. Anyway, I just removed this step and we are now doing it via update. Then we have a more, a more expected, more or less what we expected as a result, because using a random function, this is definitely what we don't want. There's a bias somewhere. Then if we take out the operation, the naming operation, and just update after the inserts, now we have a better sample data. That's it. Thanks as always.